Uh, hello, my name is Liz. L I Z Jenkins, Equality Manager, Cumtoff Health Board. Um, our project is twofold. It's aimed at providing hearing equipment for people who are hard of hearing and online interpretation for people who use British Sign Language as their first language. Uh, both have come through co-production and work that we've been doing for the last couple of years with a focus group at Pontypridd Deaf Club where one of the biggest problems is actually having access to interpreters, particularly at short notice. So the two elements are to buy equipment for all of the wards, all patient areas that people who are hard of hearing can use. So for example, that might be portable personal listening devices or portable hearing loops. So they can have proper discussions with clinicians and be able to hear and communicate a lot more effectively. On the other hand then, the online interpretation, as the name implies, is that when somebody actually comes in for any kind of intervention, an appointment, or if they're actually an inpatient, they can ask for an interpreter, we can get an interpreter at short notice, and they can then communicate via use of a tablet and Skype for business with an interpreter who could be anywhere. At the moment, interpreters have to travel to wherever the patient is and we have to book them for three hours at a time. Interpreters are actually a scarce resource and that means they can only do two jobs a day, whereas this way we could possibly book them for about an hour at a time and they could then do six or even eight jobs in a day. Well, from the clinician's point of view, one of the most important things in the modern um, healthcare arena is uh, informed consent and for the clinician knowing that the patient has understood what has been said to them and has made that informed decision and has demonstrated their choice in their own health care, that, that um, allows the clinicians to progress, basically, knowing in confidence that the, um, we've engaged fully with the, the patients. Um... My name is Glennis. Um, I'm the project manager and at the moment um, I'm working on the other key um, thing of the project which is actually rolling out equipment um, to members of staff to help with communication and accessibility. I love it actually. It's, it's lovely to see the reaction um, by the staff members and also by the patients um, where with a listening device um, that they can actually hear somebody. So if you, uh, there are so many situations that this piece of, of equipment can be used on a one-to-one -one basis in a small room, um, at the bedside, um, and also um, is benefiting um, so many, so many clinicians in every situation as well. Um, Our work has come out of a previous project we did with the deaf community and um, in partnership with the Centre for Equality and Human Rights, Interlink, New Horizons, a lot of third-party organisations. But we've developed with the deaf community a logo which um, they've actually designed themselves and it's about being deaf friendly so what I'm hoping is this could actually be extended beyond the health board as Glenny says to anywhere in the Cumtaf area so we're hoping that in you know five to ten years time maybe deaf people could go anywhere in our area and know that people will be geared up for them and they will be able to communicate.